Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the parabola. Transforming general form to standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 2 of our video class. The part 1 of our video is we are solving this one. The basic examples of general form and we make it into standard form. So feel free to see the link in the description down below on how to solve this one class. I will put the link class in the description down below. Now this time class, this will be quite tricky since the number before x squared and y squared is greater than 1. And what will be the thing that we will do? So once again, if you have y squared, this will be our equation. Quantity y minus k squared equals 4p quantity x minus h. If you have x squared, so this will be your equation. Quantity x minus h squared equals 4p quantity y minus k. So let's answer number 1 class. So let me copy the equation 5y squared minus 24x minus 30y minus 51 equals 0. So first thing to do class is we need to separate the y variables and the x variables. So therefore, since we need to follow this equation, we have y squared. So our y squared class, we put it on the left side of this equal sign. So once again, this is our center. And if you have equal sign, this will be left, this will be right, this is our center. So our y equation class will be on the left, since we need to follow this equation. Alright, so therefore we copy 5y squared, and then we copy negative 30y, and then we put a space class because we need, we need to do the completing the square. Cap, put a space, and then equals, we transpose the 24x negative 24x from left to right same with the with the constant negative 51 so this is negative 24x it will be positive 24x do not forget class once you transfer an equation from this equal sign you always change the sign this is negative 51 it will be positive 51 all right next is before doing the completing the square you check first the y variables can we factor this out Check the number class. Can we factor 5 and 30? Now you think it this way class. What would be the number, the greatest number that we can divide it by 5? At the same time, we can also divide it by 30. It should be same number class because it is GCF. Greatest common factor. Of course, we can divide 5 by 5 and we can also divide 30 by 5. The GCF of 5 and 30, that is 5. So you can factor this out by this, like this class. Factor this out by 5. So you divide... 5y squared divided by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. y squared divided by none. Simply copy y squared. So 1y squared, or you can call you can you can just write y squared class. That's the same. Understood that there's one here on y squared. So 5y squared divided by 5, that's y squared. And then negative 30y divided by 5. So negative divided by positive is negative. 30 divided by 5 is 6. Y divided by none, simply copy negative 6Y. Alright, so once again, before, fact, before doing the completing the square, you need to check if we can factor the numbers. Alright, so we just factor the numbers. So even if you try to check less by the surfactant property, 5 times Y squared, that's 5Y squared. 5 times negative 6y, that's negative 30y. 5 times negative 6y, that's negative 30y. So therefore, you factor it, you factor this out correctly. Then you put parentheses, then equals 24x plus 51. So next step class is we need to do the completing the square. We need to add a new constant in this equation. Okay, so what will be the formula, sir? The formula, that will be divided by 2, quantity squared. Our B class is beside Y, the linear term. So our B is this beside Y. So our B is negative 6 divided by 2, quantity squared. So once again, if you have this equation, your B is beside Y. A variable with the exponent of 1. So we call it linear term. So once again, B is negative 6. So negative 6 divided by 2, that's negative 3 squared. Do not be confused class, negative 3 squared, it means negative 3 times negative 3. So negative 3, okay, negative 3, you multiply negative 3 by itself twice. So negative 3 times negative 3, this is positive 9. So this will be plus 9. 
So, plus 9. Now, be careful with this one, class. In our first video, when we, when we do the completing the square and we get the answer, what number that we add on this left side of the equal sign is the same number that we will add on the right side. That's correct. But this time, class, this will be quite tricky because we will not add 9 on the right side. We need to get the product of 5 and 9 and their answer that will be the thing that we will be adding on the right side. Your question, why is that, sir? It's because this is not the original equation, class. Always remember, this is not the original equation. We factor this equation by 5. Okay, that's why we need to get the product of 5 and 9 and that will be the thing that we will be adding. I hope you get this one, class. If you don't have 5 here and you do the completing the square and this will be your equation just in case you don't have 5. Okay, so therefore you got 9, therefore you will add 9 on the right side. Simple as that. But this is not our equation. We have 5 that we factored it out. Therefore, once we get 9, we need to multiply this one. Plus the product of 5 and 9. I hope you got that one plus. I hope it's clear for you. Alright, so that's why you need to see the first video for you to learn more about the parabola. So this will be, so you make this perfect square trinomial into square of binomial. So copy 5 first. So make this perfect square trinomial into square of binomial. Very easy class. Get the square root of the first term. The square root of y squared is y. And then you get the square root of the last term. The square root of 9 is 3. You copy the sign of the middle term. This is negative. Copy negative sign. You put close parentheses, then square. That's it. Easy, right? Perfect square trinomial, we make it into square of binomial. So once again, copy 5. Get the square root of y squared is y. Get the square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Copy the sign of the middle term. You put quantity, then squared. Then equals, this is 24x. So multiply this one first. So this will be plus 51 plus 5 times 9 is 45. Alright, and then copy 5 quantity y minus 3 squared equals 24x. Then 51 plus 45. What will be the answer class? That is 96, right? Okay, let me just add 51 plus 45. 1 plus 5 is 6. 5 plus 4 is 9. 96. Alright, so almost done. So check class. This one, can we factor this out by 24? So let me copy the equation first. 5 quantity y minus 3 squared equals 24x plus 96. So can we factor this out by 24? You check class. So this will be 5 minus y quantity squared equals. So can we factor this out by 24? You check. Can we divide 24x by 24? Yep, we can divide this one. 24x divided by 24. So 24 divided by 24 is 1. x times 9 is x. So therefore, this will be x. Alright? So most of the times, class, when you do the factoring, when you factor this out, the equation, the, you always copy this 24. What will be the number beside this x? Is the number that you, are, you will be factoring. But not all the time, class. Mostly. Okay, mostly class. You just simply copy the number here. Okay, so, and then, 96 divided by 24. So, let's check. 96 divided by 24. I think it's 4. Let me multiply. 24 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Carry 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 96. Yup, it's 4. Positive 4. Okay, we don't have enough space class. So, this will be... This will be 5 quantity y minus 3 squared equals 24 quantity x plus 4. If we do the distributive property to check, 24 times x, 24x, 24, 24 times 4, that's positive 96. Alright, and then, so we have this equation plus, let me just copy it here since we don't have enough space. Alright, so almost done class. Now check class the equation for y. The number in this equation understood to be 1 here, there's 1 here. So therefore, since we have 5, we need to divide both sides by 5. Okay, since we have 5 right here, we need to divide it by 5. So that we can have this equation, same equation class. Understood that there's 1 here class. So to make it, to make the equation 1 on this equation, you divide it by 5. Divide it by 5, and then divide it by 5. Alright, so cancel this out, because 5 divided by 5 is 1. 
So, our final equation class will be y minus 3, quantity squared, because 5 divided by 5 is 1, equals 24 over 5 times x plus 4. So, check class. Can we reduce 24 over 5? Can we reduce 24 over 5 class? Can we divide 24 by 2? Yep, we can divide 24 by 2. Can we divide 5 by 2? Nope, we cannot divide 5 by 2. So you cannot divide this one class because when you divide this one, you will get a decimal answer. We're not allowed to have a decimal on this one. So just reduce class the fraction to the lowest term. Now, since we cannot reduce, therefore, this will be our final answer. So that's the answer for number 1 class. Final answer for number 1. Alright, so that's it, class. The answer for number one. If the teacher will ask for the vertex, so vertex H and K. Okay, we don't have enough space, class. So let me just write it here. Vertex H and K. H comma K. Alright, so the vertex will be... So vertex class H is beside X. This, are, this is our equation. Just always remember this one class. Your H will be beside X. Your K will be beside Y. So your H is beside X. This is positive 4. You get the additive inverse. Always remember this one class. If this is positive 4, you get the additive inverse. This will be negative 4. And your K is beside Y. This is negative 3. You get the additive inverse. This will be positive 3. That's the vertex class. K, negative 4, and positive 3. That's it, class. All set for number 1. So if you have some questions with number 1, class, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering this one. Okay, so uh, for number 2 and 3, class, I will just make another video for that because our video is quite long. So for number three, uh, number 2, that will be the part 3 of our video. So I will just put the link, class, in the description down below on how to answer number 2. Same with number 3, class. I'll put the link in the description down below. So once again, I hope you learned something new today, and I hope this video helps. If this video helps, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share to your friends, class, and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!